Chapter 2 of Vairagya Satakam by Bhartruhari Translated by Swami Madhavananda This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Uday Sagar Futile efforts to give up sense objects. 11. I do not find the virtuous distinction produced by ceremonial observances through life after life to be conducive to well-being, for the sum of such virtuous merits when weighed in mind inspires fear in me enjoyments earned by great accession of merit multiply so greatly in the case of people attached to them only to bring them misery and peril vipakaha punyanam the idea is to show the futility of good deeds performed in our earthly life with the object of enjoying happiness in heaven or higher lokas for the heavenly enjoyments are transitory as being the result produced by our virtuous merits when the force of these merits is spent the enjoyments must cease and the soul will again be drawn back to the cycle of births and deaths until by jnana or spiritual illumination it attains moksha or final release from the wheel of transmigration vyasanamivadhatum it indicates that the enjoyment of pleasures in heavens binds still more fetters on us by increasing our thirst and hence is the cause of an added volume of miseries avashyam yatarash chiratara mushitva pivishaya viyoge ko vedas tyajati sajano yatsvaya mamoon vrajantaha svatantryadatula parita payamanasaha svayam tyakta ye teshama sukamanantam vidadati twelve the objects of enjoyment even after staying with us for a long time are sure to leave us some time then what difference does their privation in this way make to men that they do not of their own accord discard them if the enjoyments leave us on their own initiative that is if they tear themselves from us they produce great affliction of the mind but if men voluntarily renounce them they conduce to the eternal bliss of self-possession brahma jnana vivekino maladiyaha kuruvantyaho dushkaram yan munchan tyupaboga banjapi dhananye kandato nispruhaha samprapthani pura na samprati na cha praptau dhruda pratyayan vancha matra parigrahanyapi param tyaktum na shaktavayam thirteen ah it must be indeed a difficult feat which persons with their minds purified by the discrimination arising from the knowledge of brahman accomplish in that free from desire they wholly discard that wealth which has been actually bringing them enjoyment whereas we fail to renounce enjoyments which are reaped by us as mere longings and which we never did realize in the past nor do we realize now nor can we count upon as lasting when obtained in future dhanya nam giri kandareshu vasatam jyotihi param dhyayata manandashru jalam pibanti shakuna nishankamam keshaya asmakam tu mano rado parachita prasada vapi tata krida kanana keli kautuka jusha mayu param kshiyate fourteen blessed are those who live in mountain caves meditating on brahman the supreme light while birds devoid of fear perch on their laps and drink the teardrops of bliss that they shed in meditation while our life is fast ebbing away in the excitement of revelry in palatial mansions or on the banks of refreshing pools or in the pleasant gardens all created and brooded over merely by imagination shakuna nishankamam keshaya the birds have approached them fearlessly because they have reached the state of tranquillity and harmlessness realizing the oneness of life bhikshashanam tadapi neerasamekavaram shayacha bhuh parijano nijadeha matram vastram vishirna shatakhandamai chakanda ha ha tadapi vishaya na jahati chetah 15 for food i have what begging brings and that too tasteless and once a day for bed the earth and for attendant the body itself for dress i have a worn-out blanket made up of a hundred patches and still alas the desires do not leave me 
स्तनौ मांस ग्रंथी कनक कलशा विद्युपमित मुखम श्लेष्मागारम तदपि चशाक तुलित श्रवन्मूत्र क्लिन्नम करीवर शिरा स्पर्धि जगनम मुहूर्निंद्यम रूपम कविजन विशेषर्गुरुत सिक्सटीन मंस ग्रंथी लंस ऑफ फ्लैश ज्यूल नंबर कनक कलशा विद्युपमित बिकम गोल्डन जग्स इन पोएट्स कंपेरिजन श्लेष्मागारम सीट ऑफ फ्लैम सलाइवा एक्सेट्रा शशांक तुलित इज कंपेर्ड टू द मून करीवर शिर स्पर्धि क्लेमिंग लाइकनेस विद एलिफेंट्स फोर हेड महूर निंद्यम रूपम फॉर्म डिजर्विंग कॉन्स्टेंट कंटेम्प्ट हेज बीन मैग्निफाइड इन प्रेस बाय सर्टेन पोएट्स एको रागिशु राजते प्रियतमा देहार्दधारी हरो नीरागेशु जनो विमुक्त ललना संगो न यस्मात्पर दुर्वार स्मर बान पन्नग विषव्याध मुग्धो जन शेष काम विडंबिता विषयान भोक्त न मोक्त क्षम सेवेन्टीन अमंग सेंशुअल पर्सन्स शिवा इज यूनिक शेयरिंग हाफ इज बॉडी विथ इज बिलवेड एंड अगेन Among the dispassionate, there is none superior to him, and attached to the company of women, while the rest of mankind, smitten and stupefied by the irresistible serpent-like poisoned arrows of Cupid, and brought under the infatuation of love, can neither enjoy their desires nor renounce them at will. Priyatama dehar dahari. This refers to the symbolic representation of Shiva and Gauri in a single divided form. On one side grows the hair in long and black curls, and on the other, corded like rope. One side is white with ashes, like the snow mountains; the other, golden as the light of the dawn. For he, the Lord, took a form, and that was a divided form, half woman and half man. Bhoktum namuktum kshamaha. Ordinary persons, when they give themselves up to the enjoyments, lose all control and become slaves to them. So even when satiety comes, they cannot detach themselves from them, as the force of blind attachment has enslaved them. But Shiva, who has subdued his mind, is unaffected by them, as in a state of mental poise of yoga, pleasure and pain are the same to him. Ajananda hatmyam patatu shalabho deepadahane samino pyagna nad badisha yutamashna tu pishitam. विजानंतो पेत वयमिह विपज्जा लजटिलान न मुंचाम काम गहनो मोह महिमा एटीन विदाउट नोइंग इट्स बर्निंग पावर द इंसेक्ट जम्प्स इन टू द ग्लोइंग फायर द फिश थ्रू इग्नोरेंस ईट्स द बेट अटैच टू द हुक वेर एस वी इवन दो हैविंग फुल डिसर्मेंट डो नॉट रिनाउंस द सेंशल डिजायर्स कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एज दे आर विद मैनिफोल्ड डेंजर्स Alas, how inscrutable is the power of delusion! Trusha shushyatyasye pibati salilam shita maduram kshudartha shalyanam kabalayati mamsaadi kalitam pradipte kama gnau sudhrutara malingati vadum prati karam yadeh sukamiti viparyasyati jana. Nineteen, when the mouth is parched with thirst, man takes some cold, refreshing, or sweetened drink. When suffering from hunger, he swallows boiled rice made delicious with meat and the like. When set on fire by lust, he fast embraces his wife. So happiness is but remedying these diseases of hunger, thirst, and lust. And behold, how man, that is his sense, is upset in its quest. Prati karam yade ha sukamiti. The main point to be understood is that worldly happiness is but the temporary remedy. We constantly seek for all the diseases with which worldly life is beset. When this relative and fugitive nature of happiness becomes apparent to us, we naturally give up running after it to seek permanent peace in renunciation. Tungam veshma suta ha, sata mabhi mata ha, sankhyati ga ha, sampada ha, kalyani daita vayascha, navamitya gnana mudho jana ha, matva vishva manashvaram nivishate samsara kara gruhe. संदृश्य क्षण भंगुर तदखिल धन्यस्तु सन्यस्यति ट्वेंटी पर्सेस्ट ऑफ टॉल मैंशंस ऑफ सन्स एस्टीम्ड बाय द लर्न ऑफ अनटोल्ड वेल्थ ऑफ अ बिलवेड वाइफ ऑफ बेनिफिशंस एंड ऑफ यूथफुल एज एंड थिंकिंग दिस वर्ल्ड टू बी परमनेंट 
men deluded by ignorance run into this prison house of worldliness whereas blessed indeed is he who considering the impermanence of the same world renounces it end of chapter two futile efforts to give up sense objects recording by uday sagar